Hey, how's it going everybody? Hope you're doing well. Today's a nice fall day. The leaves are all changing colors. It's beautiful outside. Uh, I am testing full self-driving beta. This is probably my ninth or 10th day of testing. It's been a very exciting journey so far. Full self-driving beta is not complete. There is a need to take over quite frequently. I've noticed that it's definitely dangerous. You need very attentive drivers to be testing this software right now. I'm coming up on this intersection here that I ha had displayed in a video from yesterday that it, it fails and it's failed every single time I've gone through this intersection. It just cannot for some reason get into the right lane quick enough. So here right now we need to get into the right lane and once again it's screwing up so i'm going to let it screw up and we're going to see how it corrects itself okay so it's putting on its right blinker okay very late once again Ooh. okay not sure what to do there okay so probably look like a drunk driver so what i've realized is that you know there's neural nets machine learning and artificial intelligence but i have not seen any of that and i think it's it's happening in the background maybe possibly but it's going to be a, a while until you see that happening in real time so right now you can provide feedback by touching on the screen and every time you intervene an intervention counts as stepping on the accelerator and whenever you intervene with the system that feedback also goes back to tesla through the cloud and then there's also disengagements so a disengagement is if you hit on the brake pedal or if you jerk the steering wheel out of full self-driving beta mode. One thing that I've noticed is that uh, the in-cabin camera, which is right above the rear view mirror, does track attentiveness for the drivers now. And that was, I think that came out in version 10.2. I'm on version 10.3.1 right now, really looking forward to 10.4. In version 11, they're going to bring together several different software stacks. You have a stack for highway driving, you have a stack for side street driving. They're gonna bring those together into one seamless package. So that should be interesting to witness. Rumor has it that that's gonna come out this year, but we're gonna find out about that. All right, so now begins a series of tests to see if I can trip up full self-driving beta. The first test is I'm gonna look straight forward and mimic my eyes being closed by squinting. The second test is to look down while keeping my eyes peeled on the road. And the third test is to look up while keeping my eyes peeled on the road. We're going to see in which scenarios I get the pay attention to the road message. But what I did as a test yesterday is I, and this was very fascinating, I, I'm squinting, I can still see. Um, but the cameras are going to think my eyes are closed. And what's going to happen here is a, a message is going to come up. So I can see everything. It's completely safe. I know exactly what speed I'm going but the in-cabin camera is gonna probably detect this here any second. It's gonna say, please pay attention to the road. There it is, there's the message. So we'll try it again here. I'm gonna put my head like this, put my glasses up. Please pay attention to the road. See there it said, I, so I was paying attention to the road. I'm gonna open my eyes extremely wide. We're gonna do another test here. So I'm. I'm, I'm going to be the sacrificial lamb here. They might take it away from me. I'm, you get one warning. They'll send you an email. And if you then uh, fail to pay attention uh, again, it's gone. But here, I'm going to do this test. What I've discovered is that if you stare at the road and you look up, the, the in-cabin camera doesn't do anything. I can do this all day long and it will continue to drive. So I'm sure if I close my eyes now, it would shut, shut itself down, but this is no problem. So my point here is that not only is the camera looking at your eyes, it's also looking at the orientation of your head. So as a, a demonstration of this, I'm, I'm putting my head up and we're gonna see if we get the message. So my eyes are wide open, I'm staring straight forward. And I, I've already tested this before, but I'm 99% 0.9% sure we will not get any messages here. Now the car is going to get into the right lane. Uh, again, very late, always late. My goodness. Yeah, every single time. Here, at least every single time. There are other places where it will get over in time and uh, there are no problems. So one thing that I'm always very, very paranoid about or very aware of, I should say, are the drivers around me. So I will intervene just as I did now. I stepped on the accelerator to intervene because there's a guy behind me. 
If there's nobody behind me, I will push it to its limit. And that shows everybody here what the system is capable of doing today. But uh, I do not want to be a rude driver. I'm considering getting a bumper sticker saying that I'm, uh, this is a, a self-driving car and a self-driving car in training. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm really considering getting a sticker because I don't want to really annoy people around me um, because it does, it does drive er erratically on, on occasion here. So as you can see, my head's been up for the most part this whole time and I have not gotten any messages. Now, there is another way to get that message to show up. If you are at an, at an intersection at a red light and you are looking at the screen extensively and then the light turns green, as soon as the car moves, if you're not staring at the, at the road, that counts as a strike against you. So you definitely want to avoid that message at all costs. So right now, if I were to start playing with the screen, which you can do minimally, but you have to be very careful, especially when you're at intersections playing with the screen. So let me minimize this. So if a lot of people have asked me, how do you get the full screen, the wide screen? First of all, there's a setting in here in autopilot. You can come down here and there's a full expanded, full self-driving visualization. You turn that on and then to get it to, to actually expand over to the right side, you need to minimize the radio. So as soon as you minimize the radio, now it takes up more of the screen. So it not only looks at your eyes, it also looks at the orientation of the driver's head. Very cool stuff. I've also done some tests. So let's say it's really sunny outside and you put your, your visor down and you still can't see. So if you take, I'm, I'm gonna keep my head straight forward. This is another test I've done. And what I'm gonna do is cover up my eyes. Actually, I'm gonna test this on another day. I did test it before. If you put your if you put your hand in front of your eyes like this to kind of as if you, there's some sun or something, you actually don't get the message. That surprised me. So I don't know how it detects that. Ooh, I should have left it. So here I'm I'm gonna do this and see. Okay, there. Okay. Ooh. Uh, okay, I had to intervene and step on the accelerator. So I did a test there to see how it would go around that. Autopilot definitely would not have done that. Uh, the car behind me was coming up, so I had to step on the accelerator, but it did go around those cones. It just did it very late. So that was an interesting test, I will say. Okay, now if I were driving, I'd get in the right lane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually tell it to go in the right lane. So you can still tell the car to change lanes while it's in full self-driving mode. And another thing that's very interesting is while it's driving, if you don't put in a destination and you just let it drive, it goes random places. So maybe it just tries to go straight or as straight as it possibly can go. Uh, I don't think it's gonna make any crazy turns, um, but we can test that. So I'll turn it, I'll, I'll cancel my destination here. And again, the visualizations here in the intersections is very, very impressive. So that was a text message that just came in, by the way. Uh, but you can look around the car. It's absolutely in incredible, all the amount of detail you get on the screen here. There was a message, apply slight force to the steering wheel. So for those of you that are new, and don't understand how the Tesla vehicles operate, you do always have to put some feedback on the steering wheel. The vehicle definitely needs feedback from the human driver. It is not full self-driving today. So in my opinion, it's deceiving marketing. I don't know how they get away with selling it as full self-driving, but as long as you understand that there are those limitations and that you are buying something that's gonna be available in the future, I think that uh, you, you have to also be willing to kind of put yourself out there to be a guinea pig in some in some regards to, to test this. But it's fascinating for me to see, to see the progress as I mentioned a thousand times in my other videos. And that was another, by the way, another barrier for me with my entry to all the social media with posting these videos is I, I tended in the past to repeat myself quite frequently. I'm finding now that if I have very purpose-driven videos, 
I can eliminate some of that repetition and I can also filter it out. So it, it does take a considerable amount of time. I need to update some of my video editing equipment because it does take a considerable amount of time to post videos. So, and that's again, where I greatly appreciate everybody's support because this stuff is not easy. You do have to be a hustler if you're posting YouTube content on a regular basis. I have a lot of respect, always have, for the people that are continually posting. All right, going through the green light here. So again, we don't have a destination dialed in, so it's not gonna turn where it needs to turn, but I'm gonna do a test because I, I know on the side streets you can change lanes. So I could change lanes by initiating the left turn signal right now, but I do not believe it can turn on a, on a street by initiating the turn signal. I'm pretty sure it won't, it won't do that. I'm gonna try it here. And if it doesn't slow down, I'm gonna cancel out of full self-driving beta. Okay, so we're gonna pass this little entrance here and then it's the very next one that I want the car to go right on. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on now. So there's a curb, it should not, definitely not go here. Okay, it's not slowing down. So that is um, not possible. You do need to have the destination dialed in to have it turn. So that is the same drive. I'll be doing this drive again and again, and hopefully over time it will get better and better. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.